An update this morning on the Afghan refugee resettlement process here in Utah. The state received more than 900 Afghans within the last six months. April Baker is live with the progress made and the challenges that still need to be addressed. Good morning, April. Good morning, guys. This was a huge undertaking for resettlement agencies here in Utah, with housing being one of the biggest challenges they faced when refugees arrived. But today we learned from the resettlement agencies that all of the 900 refugees do have permanent places to live at this point. This was information that was part of this morning's briefing in front of the Economic Development and Workforce Services Interim Committee. The Department of Workforce Services and Catholic Community Services of Utah presented this material. Both agencies say now that housing has been taken care of, their focus is now on finding them meaningful employment with substantial salaries. The Director of Migration and Refugee Services for Catholic Community Services of Utah tells us about some of the challenges they're facing while trying to do this. They are not coming with a, with a permanent immigration status. They're coming with a, a parole status, which is a very temporary immigration status. That um, so, and also uh, for for them to uh, get a job immediately upon arrival, they have to get a work permit. And the work permit it takes at least four months. Batar also says the Afghan refugees need mental health services because of the traumatic events they witnessed while in their war torn country. Batar says refugee families, it takes them about one to two years to get fully assimilated and they are asking for volunteers to help them do their work faster. So we will provide a link soon on our website that tells you where to go to do that at fox13now.com. Reporting live in front of the Utah State Capitol building, April Baker, Fox 13 News, Utah.